three inch bearing cooler because it had the smallest teeth to fit in there. And as you can see, I had to pull from the outer, but as it says, the bearing's fine. And once you get past, of course, it doesn't look like it's all the way on. There's actually some teeth right there. So you pull this one about halfway, and it it'll come loose. Uh, this one you got to pull all the way off before it pops off. And then uh, hammering this on was easy. Uh, just pipe and penetrant, and I mean they they went right back on, no problem. Okay, the main shaft here. Okay, pulling this off, this was actually better. You can pull from the inner race by pulling on the gear. What I did with the three, I used the three teeth uh, puller. You got more pull in there instead of just two on each side. It could you know, shift this way, this way, and uh, not get stuck. And it just makes it hard on you. So with three teeth, you get a straighter pull. And uh, the gears are not pressed on. They're, they're roller bearings. You know, so the only thing that's pressed on, the washer's not pressed on, the only thing pressed on is the speedo gear, the bearing, and the wedding ring. So you're actually, you're having to pull against three, so make sure if you want to get some, like, PV blaster or whatever, spray all this down and let it soak overnight, and then spray it again, see if it'll get as far down as you can, then put, how to use a 8-inch pulley, a uh, puller, and when you put the teeth, uh, make sure you want it tight. What I did was I got a, a paper towels or a cloth for each tooth up against that because I really didn't want to damage the, the uh, stock teeth, even though I'm not going to give those gears if I need to sell them or something. Uh, I don't want to damage them, and if you end up using them again, you know, damaged teeth are not the best way. Not the best thing to have, so just like that, and it pulled uh, pulled out all right. I mean, you gotta. What I did was I, I, I with imagine the cooler right here. I laid it on its side on the table, and then I got a ratchet strap and strapped it over the pulley or the puller, and I got it as tight as I could. And then I had my hand on this, and I used a torque wrench to get it since it had leverage with uh, on the puller, and uh, that keeps it from moving. Because you gotta you gotta have something to hold down that puller. You can't just hold it with your left hand. And, I mean, if you're that strong, but uh, you know it, it'll move on you. So you gotta have a, a way to stationary this, and uh, when you're un when you're screwing that uh, puller down to pop these out and then uh, once they pop out uh, the washer just slides off the gear with the uh, roller bearings you know, they just fall right out and uh, as you can see the main shaft teeth for the low gear are mushed uh, actually not good this would actually need to be replaced but it's not going to be bad so, There we go. It just, all that does is gives you a little bit of play, but since there's no wear on these, it actually, it stays tight since these teeth are fine and these are loose, so it's, but I, I would recommend replacing it if they're much like that. I didn't look at the stock gear. I can look at that later to see if they're much too. I didn't notice it. And, uh, the high range is fine, so that's why I'm just going to reuse it, because I use the high range a lot more low range. And then the same here, this needs to be pulled off with the bearing, so you can slide the selector off once you get this side off, which it doesn't matter which side you do, but make sure you take the clip off, and then just do like you did with the big one, stick the teeth on this one. The only thing with this one is you gotta watch out because you got that needle bearing inside there. So what I did was is I used 
the 8 inch or the 6 inch, it has, on those pullers, it has like a cone end on it. Well, it's too big to go in, so it actually would kind of sit in that bevel area. And uh, I would pull pull it till this was even. So if you pull any more, you're actually pushing this, pulling this onto that bearing tip, that bearing puller tip, and you'll, you'll be compressing it on there. So you got to stop, and then, or, actually this is what I did after I realized that I got a washer. Uh, I don't know what grade, but a washer, and it was about the same diameter as that. You know, you get the little hole for the pole to go through. I set the tip of that puller on, and that allowed it to get level. And then after that, I used, uh, I think I used a smaller puller that had a smaller tip, and it sat right on that bearing. It didn't go in it. And then uh, I just pulled it right. It was about to come off anyway, so it just popped right off. And then uh, I may have, of course, this would have to come off first. And then the bearing, so you just kind of redo what you did with the washer once you get this off. You get that. Yeah, yeah. The gear will come right off. And uh, that's about it. And of course, this, after you take these off, this hammer outward, not hammer inward, because there is, unbolt that, take that tab out, there's a O-ring right there, so you hit it that way, because if you hit it that way, it does not want to go, I'm sure you'll just screw up the uh, O-ring anyways, but smack it outward, and replace the O-ring, uh, I found some at Napa. They're kind of a little bit thicker, so you'll have to just, uh, heck, even this used up one, when I hit it back in, it actually took off a little bit of the O-ring, kind of, you know, shaved it a little. So once you get it close, make sure you get a screw flat blade and kind of work it in there as you're tapping it in. Uh, of course, I'll put another new one on once I'm ready. After I was able to find the two big seals, and uh, the bad thing is the output, the rear output shaft is a different size seal for some strange reason. I don't know why they did that, but it is not existent in any parts store, so I'm going to have to order it. And so that's what's held me back. I would have this in the Zook uh, right now, but... As always, I'm having to order stuff. So, that's it to, that's all there is to these little things. And you just put it all back together like it was, and it doesn't matter. Now these obviously matter which way you put them on, you gotta have the teeth in the middle. Uh, the Speedo, you can flip it around, it, the, the grooves always line up right. And this, actually has a little dot on it. I do not know what that's for. There's no dot on this, so I don't know what that's there for. It spins all right when I put it back together, so. And then there's no dot on the shaft, so not sure what that's for, but it's there. And if you want to go ahead, just clean up your shafts, get all the rust off so everything goes on even. And that's it.